SilDry is a patented, unique, and highly effective water management system that is intended to be placed under every window and door. It is made from high-quality TPO, fast to install, in any weather condition, with no special skills needed. It is so effective that other companies recommend the use of Sildry with their products and even increase their warranty if used. Very powerful stuff. Let's dive into how Sildry gets installed by focusing on one specific application. Today we'll review installation in a new construction application with a wood-clad wood window. The nailing flange will be installed into a wood-framed construction with a rain screen and wood siding. Here is a section drawing detail we will be referring to during the video to illustrate important aspects of the installation. Installation of sill dry in a pre-installed WRB. If the house already has the weather-resistant barrier installed on the exterior, you want to cut a 3 and a half inch slit and peel back the left and right side of the WRB as shown here. Allow it to overlap the left and right side flange of sill dry once installed. With the sides peeled back, the sill dry gets set into the RO, on top of the sill, with the WRB below. There is no need for any sealant under the sill dry product. Next, sill dry gets secured on the one side, through the side flange, where indicated. Stretched across the rough opening, if needed, and secured. Once the sill dry is set in place, the WRB gets folded over the front and side flanges. Installation of sill dry when a WRB has not yet been installed. If the house is not pre-wrapped with WRB, you will cut a piece of WRB 18 inches tall, with a width of 12 inches wider than your rough opening. This WRB piece gets placed on the face of the sheathing with the top of the WRB 6 inches above the sill. Next, cut a 6-inch slit on both sides of the WRB and fold excess material into your rough opening over the sill and set sill dry on top of the rough opening sill. Remember, no sealant is needed. Screw in the left or right side where indicated on the side flange and secure the other side. Stretch is needed to fit the rough opening. Next, run two 18-inch strips of WRB down the left and right side of the rough opening. The WRB should be 2 inches higher than the rough opening height. Cut the top and bottom of the WRB and fold it into the opening over the top of sill dry. When using paper WRB, Staple the outer perimeter to hold it in place until the main WRB gets tucked underneath. If using a self-adhesive WRB, make sure to leave 8 inches of the protective film on the outer perimeter to prevent it from being adhered to the building. The excess overlap gets trimmed off at the bottom with a vertical cut. Now that sill dry is in place, let's look at some key dimensions. The front downward flange of sill dry extends down 4 and a half inches. If needed for your application, this can be cut, leaving a minimum of one and a half inches. It is important to note that the front and side flanges should get a bead of sealant between the sill dry and WRB to prevent air. See closely here where we placed a red dot. It is important to note that this is done only after the window has been installed. Sill dry is sloped outwards to the drainage plane with a seven and a half degree pitch. It is very important to add one inch to your normal rough opening height the width remains the same. You can see that the dimension from the rough opening to the top of the sill dry on the interior is approximately 1 inch. Next you want to determine if any additional shimming is needed to make sure the window is level. The extra shimming is done on top of sill dry's weight-bearing shims. Now it's time to install the window. Install the window following the manufacturer's recommended installation procedures. If you are using a nail flange and placing sealant behind it, this should not be done along the bottom flange of the window as it can block the flow of water and defeat the purpose of sill dry. When securing the window, you can attach it through sill dry in any flat area on the front flange. After the window is set and secure, you add a bead of sealant at the bottom under the flange to stop airflow. To finish the interior with the window fully installed, you want to place a backer rod and bead of sealant between the back edge of the window and the top of the back dam of the sill dry to prevent airflow. Also, as a final step and for an added level of protection, clients also fill the gap between the rough opening and the underside of the sill dry with a low expanding foam. Thanks for joining us to learn about this amazing water management system for all windows and doors. Feel free to reach out to your local dealer or our team here at Sparked Reps so we can help you take the next step.